Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 36 of Let's Play the Accursed Crown of the Giant King, Chapter 2 The Duchy of Despair. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Just woke up from a nap. Uh, we're in the fortress of Oladasin, looking for a piece of a helmet, or a crown, I should say. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. Wait a minute, did we find it already? I think we found it last episode. Yeah, we have to go to the crossroads. Warmar Wodichev daughter in the crossroads. There she is. You found the second part of the tripartite crown of Ly Lyrinius. Well done. I thought the third part might also be at the fortress of Oladacin, but since you can't find it, to find it there, it must be at the dungeon of Blue Sand. Blue Stand. I've marked the location on your map. Travel fair there and find the third part, then return to me. Dungeon of Blue Stand. Alright. We can do that right Nizzy. Right Nizzy now. Um Aha. Uh -huh. Hole of Blue Stand. Dungeon of Blue Stand. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and explore. We've got these awesome new weapons, showing some of it there. Some fire and ice. Wow, that was one tough commando. It's nice, the fire proc for 30 damage. I'm going backwards from my usual way, I realize this. But, uh, it is what it is. Nice. Okay, we've located the exit. I'm still having a blast with this game. Um, I want to at least finish chapter two in this first run of the game, in this first batch. We've already recorded 30, now 36 episodes in the first batch um, without taking a break. So I'd like to maybe get up around 40 or more and, um, 417 X, XP, excuse me, and, um, go ahead and finish chapter two. Depending on how I'm feeling after chapter two, I'll decide if I do chapter three in this first batch. I'm kind of thinking as it stands right now, I would kind of love to, to see what's, you know, what's surprises and secrets are in store for us in chapter three but um we'll see just gonna take it one episode at a time it's been a lot of fun so far just one heck of a game <clears throat> put together by jeff or geoff i'm not sure how you pronounce his name and i'm not sure what his last name is either get something going here. Uh, let's get a wand of days. Let's go ahead and get a sound burst. Utilize 
after them. You go after them. Alrighty. Nicely done. So go ahead and fire at that one. How about a magic missile on that one? <laughs> Beautiful. Just goblin minions, though. Nothing too crazy. It wasn't like a bunch of goblin commandos or something. Just minions. Alright, we found this path. Wow. Oh, they're lessers. Okay. They looked like regular size. A little cold damage for 59. Always nice to see. This was a orc fighter. Wow. Rocking it in the pocket. Just murder blobbing it. Oh. Work fighter. Gets out barrel over twenty six. Huh. So Atha taking a bit of damage. Not bad for a mur murder blobbing uh first level of the dungeon here, but let's go ahead and see if we've explored everything. Looks like we have, and we'll get a beep here. Yep. 628, nice. Here we go in this place. <sighs> Oof, okay. Not in a great position right now. You go ahead and throw a scorching ray on you. You go ahead and throw and inflict serious wounds on you. Right here, I'll barrel. All right, nice. Dang, apprentice hit for 105. Just everybody cancel your plans and attack. Oh, got a 35 damage off. Off. Huh? To get the most bang for our healing buck, we really should heal with a higher level healing spell, but trying to uh, still preserve magic. Oh. Energy, I should say. if it really comes down to it and recovery well that'll get the most out of your recovery bucks there oh does a an explosion thirty six damage on me 
I saved for half effect, 7 on Obero, 65 on Arthur, 96 on Beldegon, my goodness. These casters can be very dangerous. Huh. It's this weird corridor that leads to nothing. <laughs> Alrighty. Another weird corridor. Got some action doors here. Come some enemies. Border guards. Okay, they're kind of tough. Let's throw a fire burst on them. You go ahead and throw a scorching ray on that one. Did I just hit? I just hit Albero for. Oh my gosh. I hit him with a scorching ray. Go ahead and throw a hold person on you. An attack. Um, you come here. You attack here as he held. Order guard failed to save, so he's held. They summoned. Nice. That might have been the big room. No, that was just a little side room, so pretty challenging stuff here. You know, to throw that many order guards and casters at us in one strike there. So from here, we want to come down this way, I think. It seems to be the last door in the premises. We unloaded, we disarmed a trap. Oh, here we go. You go, uh, it's going to hit that trap. Dominate person trap. Ooh. That's particularly nasty. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a scorching ray onto you. And go ahead and throw and inflict serious onto you. <clears throat> okay. Seventy nine damage. No. Bellafon Blue Stand cast fire elemental one, summoning lesser fire elemental. I missed with my Scorching Ray. He threw a Scorching Ray and hit Arthur for 166. Let me go ahead and heal Arthur. Um, my 
wounds spell. I don't know what it did. Inflict serious, saved, half effect, 33 damage, okay. Um, inflict serious again. Okay. Uh, 36 damage. He's more than half dead. We're kind of... Oh, you got to do something. We're all scorching Ray onto him. You go ahead and do another inflict serious. There we go. All right. You go ahead and do a fire burst here. You go ahead and... Days. Nice fire burst, 98 damage, killed one. Um, you attack here, you flank here. Boom, just like that. That's how we do it. All right. This was for the third piece of the helmet, I think. Let's see what we found here. We got a short bow, medium, mess work, a composite bow, mess work leather, crown part three, minor protection, neutralized poison, poison ball, magic dagger, color spray, and 221. Now let's come rest. out of here. Very cool, very fun. Nice challenging stuff. I think she's at the crossroads, right? Excellent. Give me all three parts and let me see. There, it is done. The tripartite crown of Lyrinius is complete once again. My work is done. Here it is. Alright. The next tripartite crown is a crown of personality 2. Another one. Um, I like my observation crown, but this is worth four times as much. So we're going to put the crown of personality 2 on. The helmet of seeing. Resist illusion, resist charm. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Uh, ring of lock picking. Short bow plus 5. Uh, we've got to see... Some merchants. Let's check our journal. Wow, we're really getting down to the nitty gritty. There's three dungeons left. And I want to go to the Lost Tower of Pateni Nay because that's the next step for um, our natural philosopher's quest. And maybe the toughest one we've run into yet, if I'm guessing correctly. Alright, let's go ahead and sell the short bow masterwork. Two of them. Composite bow for 50. Leather for 88. Uh, still can't sell those things. Dagger for 1. Club plus 10. Masterwork chainmail, 150. Still gonna hang on to the club plus 10. Uh, do we want any weapons? I don't really have the money for anything. Um, can 
Quads bow plus 10 would be nice. Short bow plus 10. Okay. Uh... Magical trinkets would be the order of wizardry. In the high city. So let's try coming over here and doing just that. Seeing if we can't sell anything here. No, they're not gonna let us, that's right. We can sell wands, virtue. Just, no, we'll keep three days. Uh, we haven't been using doom, so let's get rid of doom. Color spray, we only need two of them. Cure light, uh, just bounce it. Charm person, we only need two of. Magic Missile 3, Cure Serious. I forgot we had that. <laughs> Shows how much I'm paying attention, my goodness. Where do we sell magical trinkets? This is where, okay. And what do you have, by the way? Is this poison? Is this fire? Agility and speed four, okay. So let's see, we want to get rid of... Uh, yeah, an intelligence plus one, we already have two plus twos, right? No, we have a plus one and a plus two. Um, so we can get rid of that. Amulet of the Resist Poison gives a 5 to Material Poison spells. Ring of Defense. Wands. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and sell both of those. Another second Ring of Lockpicking we can sell for a 1,000. Ring of Strength 1. Um, Crown of Personality 1 we can sell. Ring of Strength 1. You've got Ring of Speed 1. Ring of Defense 1. Uh, so one bonus strength or a bit bonus speed. We'll go... Mm, I think for Atha, we should probably go Ring of Strength because she's not a caster. Um, oh no, her strength chainmail is already procking that, so it's not gonna... It's not gonna work. So we can just... Albero's got way too good of rings. Accuracy 2 and the Stealth Ring. So we'll probably just go ahead and sell the Ring of Strength for a thousand. Uh, Helmet of Seeing is nice. So is the Ring of Lockpicking. Um, that'll be all then. Uh, let's take a moment to go through these. Let's see if there's anything we can use. Poison Ball, penalty of minus 50 to attack bonus for spellcasting. Huh, on multiple creatures. Couldn't use it. Then we've got Neutralized Poison, dispels multiple pen penalty effects of material poison, grants immunity against material poison for an hour. Couldn't use it. Dismissal. Thousand points of damage on summoned creatures. Use that. 
He's got some heck of good spells, just can't can't describe them yet. All right, we're up to twenty seven thousand gold if we sell the bow. Then we're up to thirty one thousand. All right, next that awaits us is the Tower of Pateni Null or whatever. Oh wait, we never went to Bado Camp. And that's still inaccessible. We have to go to Bado Camp. Let's do Bado Camp. Bado Guards. Nothing of interest. Citizens. The North Junction. Bottle guard, bottle guard, bottle guard. Steps down. Guard. Um, exit to the right, which goes to Gray Sky Plateau. That's what we want. Perfect. Another way down. This is Auto Armor Works. Oh, you go down. Nifty. We're going to pick up more quests here, I'm sure. Maybe not from here. Edashar Eberdotter. Dwarven female. Welcome to the armor works. Nothing like dwarven made armor. Would you like to see what we have? Yes. Leather plus 10. Of energy protection. Plus 45 to energetic, which is like dodging physical harm. That's a really nice set of armor. Really nice. Chainmail plus 10 of personality. Huh. I mean, if I could use light, uh, heavy armor, that'd be good. Uh, shield plus 25. Oof. That's nifty, too. Shield plus 10 of strength plus 2. Oh my gosh. They know how to give you the goods. <sighs> I could essentially, essentially sell that for 4,000, which is give us enough to grab the shield plus 10 of strength and the chainmail plus 10 of oh, personality. How would personality help Arthur? Because she'd be getting strength too from the ch from the shield, so she'd no longer need the chain mail of strength. But then maybe I can give her the plate mail plus ten and give him the chain mail of ten plus personality for his singing. But I don't know. Yeah, singing. That would help his singing. <sighs> um, hmm. That would be all my money, but it'd be a nice couple of purchases. Or just a straight-up shield plus 25. Um... We're not gaining any defense, but we're gaining that two strength. Let's do something. Let's look at Albero. Improved singing. Attribute personality. 
So Song of Inspiration, Song Difficulty 75. So I guess to hit that, you need a good enough personality along with other another role, or that, that adds to the bonus probably, the personality bonus. Let's look around first because we can always come back here. Uh, there's probably weapons too, although I feel like we're pretty set on weapons. But what's in here? Church of Tear. Sure. Acolyte Ayla. Dwarven level 6 female spellcaster. Tear is the god of law, blacksmiths, and dwarves. His followers uphold the rule of law at all costs. Welcome to the Church of Tear. Follow the rules and we'll have no problems. Would you like to see the healing items I have for sale? Sure, usual stuff. We haven't used many healing items. Welcome to the Church of Tear. I preside over the church here and Acolyte like Alec and sell you healing items if you have need. Oh, that was Priest Lurixen, a level 9 spellcaster dwarf. Okay. Thank you very much. We've got this place. Nothing of interest in that cave. Citizens. Nothing of interest in that cave. Um. Aha. Uh -huh. We've got Ludata Batter Daughter. Welcome to Battle Camp. We battle dwarves have fled from the chaos to the north and made a temporary home here. Though the home seems more permanent with each day. Visitors are welcome, though I must insist that you keep the peace. You might check in with my cousin Ibero at the hostel for a warm meal and a bed for the night. One other thing, we've had some trouble with trolls in the town, especially near the Brown Rock in town. A local adventurer, Theta Zeroff's daughter, went to investigate but has gone missing. If you could find any sign of her, that would ease some minds around here. Okay, around the Brown Rock. Hmm. Go to the Bado Hostel. Here we have Ebero Bottleson. Dwarven male. Room to rest in. Maybe pick up quest. Oh, you're a citizen too. Hmm. Alright. Nobody to uh, talk to here. Uh, near the brown rock. This one? To barracks. To barracks. Elixirs. Bariok Godastin. Godastin. Greetings, Matthew. I have some facility with potions and I have some for sale. Where's as far as heroism strength? We don't use these types nearly enough. But for a change, we could switch it up and use some potions like that. But we'll probably use them in future chapters and such. Alright, around the brown rock. Where would that be? Armor works. Oh, the bottle camp cave. That's a brown rock. No, we can't go in there. Uh, 
Oh, it must be outside the camp somewhere. Let's see. Jalamunda Gorik daughter. I totally missed her. That's why you check the map like that for NPCs. <clears throat> Where is she? Inside of the tents. Wow, she's literally hidden. Greetings, friend Matthew. Long ago, my master forged the tripartite amulet of Palvadius. Magical trinket. The amulet has been split into three parts. Here's one, bring me the other two. Look to the stronghold of Thudison to find the other parts of this mystical item. Alright, another... This is an amulet, though. Let's see how long we've been playing. 36 minutes, okay. So, um, next time... Trying to see where this would have appeared. Right there. Stronghold to Jason. Uh, let's actually hit the Lost Tower. Uh, yeah, let's do this next. Because the more money we get, and then either spend it at the Bado camp, or by the time we do the Tower of Panetal Ne, we'll have money for an item from the Natural Philosophers uh, Guild. So that's a win-win there. We just need to save up even more money. Basically, to uh, go ahead and do that. So might as well do the amulet on the way. Such a cool game, though. Really enjoyable to explore. I hope you guys are finding it enjoyable, too. I just love these underdog-type projects where it's one guy doing his best to just bring something interesting out. Um, no, that was right. And I'll go ahead and daze. <laughs> nice. You attack here. You come up here. You come here. You run. You shoot. Oh. Who's this guy that's so tough? Tyrant Clan. Tyrant Clan Sorceress. Uh, you go ahead and hit her with a Scorching Ray, and you go ahead and hit her with a <clears throat> Magic Missile. There we go. Let's take care of her. Dang. They're a little tough here. They got, they're a little wily. Alright, let's go to the lair. We just happen to be too much for most enemies, but... Ludison Cave. Oh boy. He just hit for, for Scorching Ray. It missed. Sound Burst. Um, Albero failed to save. Albero's stuck. Doesn't matter. Quest complete. 497. Very nice. Let's head to the hilltop, perhaps. Do 
Citizen Hilltop. So I want to thank you guys for joining me as always. Um, really appreciate each and every one of you. Next time. We'll go ahead and get this amulet cracking. And also. Uh, go ahead and. Hit that tower of potential. Potential nay or whatever. Oh. Orc fi uh, ogre fighter. Probably can just beat it the heck up. Ogre fighter hit author for 92. That's the danger of just beating it up. Oh. And the tax mints. Spell negated. Hmm. But yeah, we'll continue exploring, so. As always, thank you guys. Um, feel free to tune into the next one as well, if you watch this one. Let's keep it going. Journey with me. I love bringing this stuff to you guys. Give me a beep to end the episode. There it is, 504. Uh, much love, peace, and joy, guys. Next time we enter the stronghold, take care. Bye-bye.